So when, when the boat is all fully rigged, the rudder on, the boom on, but not the sail unfurled, right? We want to leave that furled until we're in the water. Um, I'm going to recommend that the students go in pairs to take it down. I'm going to do it with one person, but we want to make sure that the boat remains tied to the trailer because otherwise it can slip off when you're lifting. And we'll just take it down and we're just going to launch. The key to launching is to get the wheels underwater. We'll have two students, one will take the trailer and one will take the boat and then they'll beach the boat and help the other person out. We want to remind them to check the plug, right? Even though these don't leak right now, they will someday. Um, so I'm in, my trailer wheels are pretty much under. I'm going to untie it from the trailer. We've been using a cleat hitch, but who knows, they might have used a different knot. All right, I'm going to step on the trailer. I'm going to push back. And then you're going to see it stops, and that is it hitting the handles underneath. So you're going to have to give it a little pop up to get it over. Make sure you have a hold of the, the bow line, the painter, and then one of the students will take the trailer back. All right, so we're just going to leave the trailers on the beach just right up far enough. And then what we want to have the students do, again, check the plug, and the next thing is to turn the boat into the wind. So we're going to pretend it's a south wind. There's really no wind right now. And then we're going to beach the boat, but unlike the sunfish, we're not going to pull it way up on. Uh, we want to try and keep sand out of the center trunk. So you just want to beach it enough that they're going to be able to unfurl the sail and then attach the outhaul. When we unfurl the sail, we do not want them to turn the sail like they're furling. We want them to unwrap it. That way, if there's sand, in the mast step, it's not going to start grinding through. All right, we can come back. Get the out hole. The bang's on, hang on. My bang was on. There we go. Get the out hole. We're just going to hook this hook in. And one of the things you're going to probably see students doing is this, right? So check for that because they don't want to do that. We want to put it in the grommet. And then you want to make sure you tension your outhaul before you go out. And importantly, always cleat the full line, not the one with the bungee on it. So we'll get it to where we want it, lock it in, and we're good there. We also want to make sure that the students have checked that um, the main sheet is, is free. Uh, sometimes this line gets caught between here or other pieces get mixed in. Uh, so that's something to be aware of. Yep, go ahead. Not. Oh yeah, make sure there's a stopper knot <laughs> in them. Hopefully they're on all of them. But as usual, we want to make sure we clear the line. All right, so when the students are ready to launch, we want to make sure they've unclipped the center board. So there is a clip here and there's enough tension, uh, friction in here to hold the center board up so it's not just going to drop down. But one of the complications of launching, especially in this really shallow uh, situation we're in right now, is if they get really far out and they don't have their center board down, they're just going to go sideways. So um, we'll want to take the boat out a little bit. And if you possible, get the uh, center board started. And then we, at some point when the, the students are far enough out that they can hook this bungee line to this. This keeps the, the center board from slipping into the trunk if they capsize. So we definitely want them to hook that up. Launching, we've got a couple uh, styles. Uh, one is you can obviously put the student in the boat and sort of help them launch. They can hop on from the side. Um, I'm going to show the Nate mask method, which is basically a uh... so with a life jacket. <laughs> Must have a life jacket on. <laughs> 